What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we got a four-piece draft scenario. What will the Eagles do in less than a week? Yes, less than a week, we have to make this decision. Not we, Howie Roseman. But before we get into all that, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a live stream and or a video. Click the bell and also smash the like button. It helps push this out on YouTube. It does a lot for your boy. It's greatly appreciated. And last but not least, follow your boy on Twitter. That's where we talk Eagle News 24-7 behind the YouTube seeds. With all that out the way, Let's get into it. And we're going to talk about four players that I think have a chance to fall to the Eagles. They're like, Philly Mike, four players? Really? Well, it's different case, different scenario. I think Patrick Sertain, J.C. Horn, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith, one of them guys is going to be the pick. Unless the Eagles do some shake, rattle, and roll type thing and move up. Or move back again. That will definitely change my answer. We move up. Who knows what we get. We move back. It looks more like the D tackle out of Alabama is going to be the pick. But as we sit at 12, we can only talk about 12. And yes, Thursday, April 29th is the draft. Let's go. And I will be bringing you guys draft content the rest of this week except for Monday. Monday, we're going to have the last year's third round pick, Davion Taylor. We'll be on the channel one-on-one -on -one with Philly Mike. Maybe it's going to be live. Maybe it's going to be pre-recorded. I don't know, but get your questions ready in case it's live. I might have to ask him about Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I'm not sure yet. We're going to see. I don't know what he's going to respond back, but we will have Davion Taylor on the channel. With that out the way, let's get into this four-piece draft scenario. I honestly think we're going to be sitting here at 12. And one of these four players will be on the board. J.C. Horn out of South Carolina. Patrick Sertain out of Alabama. Wide receiver, Jalen Waddle out of Alabama and the other Alabama stud, Devontae Smith, who won the Heisman Trophy. I think one of them four will be on the board. I don't think we're going to have to hmm, think about it because I think that the Eagles like all four of them players. We like Rashawn Slater. We like Micah Parsons. I think we do. I don't think the organization does because they don't value linebacker. But we do like Rashawn Slater because think about it. Out of the last nine Howie Roseman drafts, seven came to the defensive line and the offensive line. The only two that were not offensive line and defensive line was last year, Jalen Reger, and in 2016, Carson Wentz, because we moved up to get the franchise quarterback that turned out to be not the franchise quarterback, whether it's his fault or the organization's fault. So we put ourselves back after getting a Super Bowl. Huh? Anyways, we're talking about the draft, and I do believe offensive linemen and defensive linemen is on Howie Roseman's board. They're trying to get back to what they think is right, and it's normally right. You build a team from the trenches. A little old D-line, a little old offensive line, it wouldn't hurt. But if you want to make an impact for 2021, you want to help Jalen Hurts out, you got to get some offense, but you really got to get that defense fixed up. So let's get into the scenario. Four players, I think, like I said, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Patrick Sertain, J.C. Horn, they will be four players I think the Eagles should and will target. Now, does Cowboys go Patrick Sertain? Does Cowboys go J.C. Horn? Because you heard in a Jerry Jones video. That Kyle Pitts, when they were doing the interview, he said the toughest corner I played against was J.C. Horn. He played against Patrick Sertain. He played against J.C. Horn. And he gave J.C. Horn the two. So maybe the Cowboys are trying to make ha-ha-hoo-hoo. We're interviewing Kyle Pitts, but J.C. Horn's the pick. I don't know. So if J.C. Horn goes, I could see him taking Patrick Sertain. If vice versa. But what happens if there is one 
of J.C. Horn or Patrick Sertain, and one of Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith on the board at 12. You don't move, you stay still and pick. And to make it more realistic, I do believe there's a chance that Devontae Smith falls. But let's just say Devontae Smith is gone. Patrick Sertain is gone. If it really is J.C. Horn out of South Carolina or Jalen Waddle out of Alabama, who do you take? Now, I love offense. And I think Jalen Waddle will fit this team just great. I think Jalen Waddle will have the connection with Jalen Hurts. Jalen to Jalen to, oh yeah, we also have another Jalen. <laughs> think it would work. But I think the biggest need on this team is defense, especially when it comes to the secondary. We lost Jalen Mills, a guy who played safety and corner for us. Whether you love him or not, he played two positions. We're weak at corner. We're weak at safety. We did get Anthony Harris, but we got to remember, you got to remember, Ronnie McLeod got an MCL or ACL injury late in the season. He won't be back to start. So with that being said, you got to figure that out. I think you got to go corner. If it comes down to Waddle or J.C. Horn, man, I do love Waddle. He's a monster on the field with the ball in his hand and underneath it. But I think I got to go J.C. Horn. There's other receivers in the draft, whether we go at second at 37, whether we move up to try to get Terrence Marshall Jr., which Baltimore got two picks in the first round now with the trade from Kansas City. So one of them will be a Rashad Bateman, a Terrence Marshall Jr., an ex-receiver. So that kind of puts that out the way. It's tough, man. It's tough. Waddle and Asante Samuel Jr.'s. Or the guy from Syracuse, I can never say his name. Or Eric Stokes. Or J.C. Horn. And then you look at, hopefully, Terrence Marshall Jr. is there. Maybe Elijah Moore. Maybe Kadarius Toney, who's a bigger guy, but he has his injury play. We'll have to see. But I think you got to go corner wide receiver. Or wide receiver corner. But the most important thing is Philadelphia Eagles. Best player available. If there's somebody who falls, no matter what position, you got to get them. Even if we're full there, our full guys, our best guys are older. We need some youth. We need some blue chip players. We need some top end talent. So the video is about J.C. Horn or Jalen Waddle. You can throw Devontae Smith and Patrick Sertain in it. But it really, I think it circles around them too. But them four, that's the four piece scenario. Them four are going to be looked at at the Eagles. Will all four be there at 12? No. But one of the two, two of the two, three of the, f I said one of the two, one of the four, two of the four, three of the four, they will be there and the Eagles got to make that selection. With all that being said, I go by Philly Mike and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. Let me know all your thoughts in, in the comment section. Who do you want? J.C. Horn, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle. Or Patsy Sertain. You can tell me who you want. Or who you think the Eagles are going to get. It's such a question mark. Unless somebody fall like Rashawn Slater. I don't like it. I mean I do like it. But it's not sexy. But the Eagles will do it. With all that being said. You guys know what time it is. We out.